Boom, 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 boom. Welcome back. Welcome back to another edition of Maurice's Polar Reviews. Today we'll be talking about what's, what is on my mannequin. I'll say, I'll say a <clears throat> must need cop. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, fall is approaching. So, I just wanted to make this a like, fall episode of, you know, what's to come in the upcoming months, you know, for us especially down here in the south. So, let's get into it. Um, this is a polo country work shirt. Um, I've been heavy on my work shirts here the last past, I'll say eight months. You know, just been searching for my work shirts. Also, just um, things of a lighter texture whenever I, you know, whenever I go out upcoming, whenever I go out <clears throat> in the winter, in the fall time, just something light, not necessarily heavy. And also, you can put on, put off, and not necessarily start sweating. You don't want to overdo a lot of things when it comes down to um, dressing appropriate for the weather. So, I got the work shirt. This one this one right here, like I said before, is a polo country. Um, as you can tell, it has the yellows, the oranges, the blues, the light blues, the reds. It has the patchwork um situation going on as far as print layout yeah so it was just something that i wanted to pick up it is one of my grills um this one and another one i have but yeah you know whenever you're going out you know in the south anyway i'm just saying that because i stay in the south but a light work shirt i think would be conducive to the weather especially for the environment in the south you don't want to necessarily go full throttle bubble coats and stuff of that nature, um, shirling, stuff of that nature. You don't want to overdo it, especially when you're just going out running errands or whatever the case may be. Me, personally, I got a red uh, Ralph Lauren small pony tee up under it. This is what I will wear. The work shirt says a lot already, so you don't want to overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Some nice denim jeans, some nice boots, you know, to rock with it. A little scully to go with it, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got no hair like myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just, you know, I'll say a little light work. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, And I got some power cops. I will say to me, my my where I'm at in my life, I will say, is a must-have for the older gentleman. Um, So, let's talk about the world of Ralph right now. Um, Crickets. Oh, I'm lying. I think Ralph just came out with their fall collection. The only thing I really seen is that stood out to me is the um off white P Wing cardigan. That's that's pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? Ralph Lauren is known for remixing his um designs. And I think that'll be a good look if you are a P Wing connoisseur and you want that in your wardrobe. There's definitely nothing wrong with it. Um I think it's a good look. Um, you know, classy off-white look you know you could do a, you could pair that up with some blue chinos um matter of fact you can probably do like a brown corduroy dark brown light brown corduroy even a navy blue corduroy i think it'll look pretty dope depends on how you like to dress it up or dress it down or whatever the case may be um i think it'll you know that's what stood out to me um again you know Still on a double RL hunt a little bit, not not pushing it. You know, double RL can get expensive, as you know. For those the ones who know the prices, yeah, we're not doing that. But anyway, let's get into a few cops. Um, this first cop, I got it. I had already been looking for it, but I think I paid like thirty bucks for it. Um, to me, it's it's not a must have, but it's a nice piece in your wardrobe. But this particular knitted scully, I think it's very dope. It's colorful as, as heck, no lie. Got the uh, orange with the blue, mm, navy blue, yellow, green, red. Very nice. It's I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you, the quality is there. And for the price I gave for it, the only thing about this one I got it, smell like cigarettes. So whoever had it, smoked like a, uh, I could train, but I took it to the cleaners, got it clean, 
you know, got the smell out. Um, very nice. Um, a little scully to add to my collection. Um, very dope, you know what I'm saying? For the bald head guys like myself. So, yeah. And anyway, if you want to, you can try to pair it up. It just depends on what you want to do. Um, so this is the next particular cop. I think it's for the the quote unquote the uh, situation on me and the you know as far as going out, being in certain places, especially like a maybe a cigar lounge if that's your thing. Um, but it was something I looked at, something I cop. But I will tell you about it once I show it to you what I don't like about it, and then we can get into it. <clears throat> so I got the the, um, the regular blue label. Blazer, corduroy, um, very nice. But this is what sold me, the elbow patches. More like a professor type of situation. Um, corduroy, knew it tags. Um, you know, I, I couldn't beat it for what I got it for. I just let it stay on eBay for a while, then I went on ahead and I inboxed them and then we came up with a deal. So that that what sold me. Um, very nice, you know, but I, what I did, what I did discover about this is that even though it says 2XL, shoulder wise, they're snug. And what I also recognize is that I cannot wear a thick sweater with this particular blazer, which is, eh, it's, um, it, I will make do for what it's for, but I was sadly disappointed by it, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, whenever you went to do this to see if you had any wiggle rooms to do this, if you know, you know the um, wrist test. It came up about, you know, somewhere right above here. It was nice length-wise, but shoulder-wise, it was sort of snug. And trying to layer it, it's not going to get layered. I can go ahead and tell you that now. It's more of a put a Henley on with it and just rock it out like that. Um, let that be the star of the show as far as your particular outfit that you want to rock. So, in my eyes, that's what I'm going to do. Nice denim jeans. I'm not going to overdo it, you know what I'm saying? Just because you, you want to be comfortable with what you're wearing at all times. So, with that being said, I'd rather just rock a Henley with it and just keep it moving. That way, I'm, not, I'm still in my element. I'm still clean. I'm still doing me. But along with that, I'm clean. You know what I mean? So it was just something that I was looking into. Um, and yeah, I'm still, I still have my eye on a few things here and there. I'm not going hard as I did the year before I did cop a few things this year. I think that was, uh, that was nice as far as my collection. Um, you know, we, we decided to do no labels at the beginning of the year. Me, myself, uh, Pink, uh, Cliff, and the rugby crew, the rugby kings. We decided, you know, only cop heat, things that we on our grill list. And unfortunately, I haven't cop. I only think I caught like maybe three things that was on my grill list because, uh, yeah, 2XL and Vintage Slim is not my thing. That's more like an XL. Maybe, maybe a large, I don't know, but I'd rather get something that I'm comfortable with, you know, to me, you know, because I am a bigger, I'm a huskier guy, as the old folks say, you're husky, but um, yeah, so that's the thing when you want to dress accordingly, you want to make sure you're comfortable, number one, and number two, you don't want to underestimate your size, if you understand what I'm saying, you want to get the clothes that fit your body. You know what I'm saying? Your stature. You know what I'm saying? Me being husky. I like what I like, but I also got to know when enough is enough or what I can and can't do. And I'm not going to try to push the limits to what I can do. So, yeah. So, <clears throat> you know, just word to the wise, just trying to keep a positive outlook upon life. Um, people in your life, uh, positivity, you know what I'm saying? Keep it coming. Regardless of how tough your situation can be, there's always a positivity that can be looked at, used later on in life, a uh, staple in your life, anything of that nature to help build yourself. People will try to come in your life, tear you down because they're toe down, and they want to, they want you to feel the same way as them. That's not it. 
you know, you want to reflect, dissect, and rebuild as far as what you had to go through in life. And don't ever let nobody try to steal your peace. This is me to you. You know what I'm saying? Peace is everything. Your peace of mind is is everything. You know, so with that being said, thank you for coming to Marcus the Polo Review channel. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. You know, I've been I've been out for a minute, but I'm trying to get back on my grind. So uh with that being said, salute and have a great weekend.